name of Jesus this morning. He deserves the glory and the praise. Worthy, worthy worthy is your name. Let's bless him because of who he is. He's a faithful God. He's an awesome God. He has caused us to see this beautiful day. We want to bless his name for who he is. Say, holy as you Lord, all creation, all creation, Call you God. Call him worthy, worthy, worthy. Worthy is your name. We worship, we worship your majesty. Awesome God. Awesome God, awesome God, oh, how great thou art. You are God, you are Lord, mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow, Lord, we bow and worship. Can we lift up our voice and give him glory this morning? Give him all the honor. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. He deserves all adoration. We give you praise, Lord. We bless your name. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of health. We thank you for all you have done in our lives. We lift up our voices to you in adoration. We lift our voices to you in praise. We reverence you for your goodness and our love and and your mercy and your love in our lives. We worship you. Can you just spend the next one minute and give him the glory? Give him the praise. Give him the glory and the praise. Thank him for waking you up this morning. Thank him for his goodness and his mercies. That you've experienced throughout those months of September. Today is the third day. You want to give him the glory and the praise. He's kept us. He's provided. He's been a source. And everything has healed. He has delivered. He has transformed. He sends us his word every day. Worship him. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You bring the healing and grace um, Our hearts always hunger for Can we love him today? Love him this morning Bless his name this morning Give him praise Because he is faithful He is awesome We're going to spend one more minute And worship him this morning There is none like you all of my days i want to praise the wonders of your mighty love you're my comfort day my comfort my shelter tower of refuge and strength let every breath and all that I am never cease to worship you. Yeah. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Let us sing. Somebody worship Him. 
Praise to the King. All mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you. Forever I stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Somebody give him your glory. Nothing compares to the promise we have in you, O oh God. We bless your name. We worship. We adore you. We lift up our voices in adoration. We thank you for who you are, O oh God. We thank you for your awesomeness. We thank you for your mightiness. Your name be exalted and be magnified. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Hallelujah. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for joining. And let's spend this few minutes together and pray unto the Lord. But before we do that, let's look at the word of God briefly. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21 to verse 25a. He says, and the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, what is that proverb? that you have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. He says, For I am the Lord, I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall no more be prolonged in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout aloud. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. He says the word I speak, it shall come alive. It shall not be prolonged. Right now today we are coming against every force of delay, every power of delay, every spirit of delay against your life against the fulfillment of the works of god in your life the word that the lord has spoken over your life we want to frustrate it many of us words have gone ahead of us prophetic words have gone ahead of us we have um, um we've we've read it in the bible or it has been spoken over our lives and up till now it has not come yet alive it has not functioned it has not been evident and it it was documented in bible god even said he said what is this proverb that says that the words uh, that have been declared the prophecies are delayed and he said thus saith the lord today it shall no more be prolonged i declare and i decree over your life that is listening to me right now every delay is over the force of delay the spirit of delay the power of delay is broken from off your life in the name of jesus every word that god has spoken over your life it comes alive today it manifests today in the name of jesus this month shall not pass before those words come alive this month shall not end before the words that god has spoken over your life and your destiny come alive in the name of jesus i break the chains of delay from wherever it is broken right now in jesus mighty name and before we pray i want to show you one key something one secret that enables a fast forward the speeding up of the words that god has spoken over your life what can i do to ensure that the words that god has spoken over my life come to pass in a hurry what can we do and we will see that one key in first timothy chapter 1 verse 18 paul was speaking he says this charge i commit unto thee my son timothy according to the prophecies which went before thee that thou by them mightest war a good warfare i read it again it says this charge i am giving to you today son timothy according to the prophecies which has gone before you that thou by them mightest war a good warfare so what is the thing what is the secret what will ensure that the words 
that the Lord has spoken over your life, they come alive in a hurry. What will speed it up? What will bring it forth in a hurry? And that is one thing, prayer. Somebody say prayer. Whenever you hear a word, whenever God speaks to you, maybe you're studying the Bible and you a word leaps out of the, the pages of the scripture into your spirit and you know that, wow, this word is for me right now. Or you are in church and Lord speaks to you through his servant and makes a declaration over your life, makes a declaration over your business, makes a declaration over the works of your hand. And you are like, how can this come to pass in a hurry? Now, this is the secret. This is a key that Timothy was hearing today, just like you are also hearing today. When the word goes ahead of you, what should you do? War with them in good warfare. Pray over those words. Speak over those words. Declare over those words. Declare over those words. Declare over those words. See, it says in New Living Translation, it says, based on the prophetic words spoken about you earlier, I said, Timothy, my son, here are my instructions for you. Based on the prophetic words that have been spoken about you earlier, may they help you fight well in battle. Fight with them in battle. Fight with them in battle. Now, let me, it, it, you will understand it better when you hear it from the HCSB. It says, Timothy, my son, I am giving you this instruction in keeping with the prophecies previously made about you. It says, so that by them you may strongly engage in battle. Praise the Lord. How do I engage in battle? In the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Remember, the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the kingdom of darkness against the works of darkness we wrestle against them not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers so when the word has gone ahead of you what you have to do is to engage with them in battle when you receive a word when you receive a word you are not supposed to go and sleep you are not supposed to find yourself and say yes he has spoken to me hey it's going to happen no it is time to go pray. It is time to take the word to the Lord. To say, Lord, you have spoken concerning my life. You have declared, you have decreed that my life will go forward. Therefore, Lord, I speak into my life that it will go forward. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Every word that has been spoken over your life, we're going to go with it to prayer today. Now for today, it says there shall be no delay. There shall be no delays, no delays, no delays. And we're going to tackle the spirit, the power of delay, the force of delay in our lives. Praise the Lord. Every force of delay, we frustrate it. We scatter it. We pull them down from our lives in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, first of all, and let's thank God for his word. Somebody give him glory. Mangrado shande de yada da yada da da da. Mazembrando satala bada baliga la da yadosa. We bless your name, Jesus. We glorify your name. Manda zeparo satariga la da. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. No more delay in our lives. No more delay in our family. No more delay for everyone watching right now. No more delay for the members of our household. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Right now I speak into your life. I speak into your family. I speak into the work of your hand. I speak into the life of your children. The life of your family members. That business, that work, that endeavor you are doing, I declare and I decree there shall be no delay in the name of Jesus. Every force of delay is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus. There are some people that are watching right now and in your life, what takes others a few days to accomplish? You must struggle, you must toil, you must, you must, months must go by. Weeks must go by, years must go by it before it comes to pass in your life. Right now, I speak into your life and I break that force over your life in the name of Jesus. Today, I declare speed in your life. 
I declare speed. Now, what that means is what took you five weeks to accomplish before now, you will accomplish in five days. What took you one month to accomplish before now, you will accomplish in one week. In the name of Jesus, may God speed up your life. May God speed up your progress. May God speed up everything concerning you in the name of Jesus. Quickly, you will get married. In a hurry, you will have your children. In a hurry, your business will flourish and will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, we cripple every force of delay. Every force of opposition in our lives that causes delay. That causes hindrances. That causes opposition. In the name of Jesus. Somebody watching today. You started school, higher institution, a long time ago. And up till now, because of one thing or the other, they say it is strike. They say it is a government strike and all of that or whatever. You have been in school. There's someone, your results have been withheld. And because of that, you've not been able to graduate. Right now, I caused that force of delay. That thing that is crippling your progress right now. It is frustrated in the name of Jesus. I declare that there is speed now. When you go back, it shall be processed in a hurry and it shall enter your hand. The result shall enter your hand in a hurry in the name of Jesus Christ. No more delay. Somebody say no more delay. As you're watching this, I want you to type no more delay. No more delay and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. No more delay. No more delay. Someone who wants to get married and the, the, the family of the lady is dragging feet and all of that and is they're going around in circle i rebuke that delay right now i rebuke that force of hindrance right now and i declare speed 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 in the name of jesus christ all around speed all around speed all around speed you will go forward you work strong and you do exceedingly great in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Someone lift up your voice and just give him praise because it is done. It is settled. It is done. It is done. It is settled in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Ogechi, I see you. Ubong, I see you. Thank you all for joining. Everyone joining. I want you to share this with your friends and your loved ones. Thank you for joining. I declare there's no more de um, no more no more delay in your life in the name of Jesus no more hindrance in your life every obstacle is over and right now you listening to me whatever was your prayer request before you came in today whatever was in the, your heart that you've been desiring for God to do for you before you joined this morning I pray and I agree with you in prayer and I declare let it come alive I declare let it come to pass I declare God answers you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you. For those watching that is that you're not born again, you know that you've not given your life to Christ. The only way these promises can come alive in your life is when you give your life to Christ. So I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, forgive my sins. Wash me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from every shame. Cleanse me from every evil, every garment, every filthy garment. Lord, cleanse it in the name of Jesus. Wash me clean. Jesus, come into my life. And you are my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Father, because you have saved me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Congratulations. You are born again. That's all it took for you to be born again. Believe in Jesus as lord and savior and receiving him into your life confessing him as your lord and so right now the next step is for you to find a bible believing church where you will love god and serve him now wherever you are in the world if you don't know where to go as a bible believing church just send me a message and i'll let you know where to go wherever you are in the world where you can go worship and receive blessings praise the lord but if you are in the city of uyo I invite you to Precious Faith International Church, 27B Acre Street. The Lord bless you as you come in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God increase you, increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. Thank you everyone for joining today. 
you are blessed and favored today there shall be speedy answers today there shall be speedy manifestations of miracles in your life in the name of jesus where there was a no yesterday as you go today there shall be a yes god bless you and we will see again tomorrow by 5 a.m you are blessed and you are lifted i want you to share this video with your friends they can still watch this video again and again. So share it with your friends and your loved ones and let God break the power of delay in their lives. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day. And bye-bye. That's why we worship you. You are who you say you are. El Shaddai, that's why we were. You are who you say you are. You are who you say you are. Oh, that's why we were. Hey, yalla bagada yalla lalo mo shata la ba 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 ba. Oh, you were way.